Hi everyone, it's Kezia over here from Kezia's Corner. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kezia. So basically, today's video is going to be all about, again, the brand called Mina. I have done various videos on Mina products. I will list them down below as well as all the blog posts as well if you want to have a look. But basically, Mina is an animal cruelty free brand and also all the products are paraben free when you go in the shop there's a variety of colors and it's just amazing and the prices are all reasonable and they have a variety of products that come again in different shades like literally in all the shades you can possibly imagine thanks to mina i have gone out of my comfort zone and i have been trying out shades that usually i wouldn't go Four. So yeah, so today's um, collection is going to be the eyes collection. So basically it focuses around the eyes. We have an eyebrow kit, we have various eyeshadows, we also have an eye gloss which you will see soon and also a gel eyeliner. So if you want to keep on watching and see how the products from the eyes collection tests out and obviously keep on watching. I would like to personally thank Nina Malta for these products and also Hudson Group Malta. I really, really thank them um, for, for all the products and thank them for the lovely opportunity they are giving me and allowing me to show these products and share them on my channel. So yeah, thank you so very much. And don't forget that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then press subscribe and I will see you guys later. So yeah, if you want to keep watching, then keep on watching. Bye guys, and here we go. So let's start and um, see how these products test out. So basically I did my face makeup, so like my primer, foundation, concealer, powder, and I even applied some bronzer as well to my face. So now we're going to focus basically on the eyes, which is what this collection is all about. So I'm gonna start, and these are all the products that Nina so kindly um, gave me, and I really, really thank them, and Hudson Group Malta as well. So thank you Nina Malta and Hudson Group. So like I said, this is the Eyes Lineup Collection. So the Eyes Collection. And they just come with, I already opened the palette. So they just come with five products and they're all focusing around eyes. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use this. This is the Mina Eyebrow Kit. Now I have never ever tried any Mina Eyebrow products, but I think that this kit really comes hand in handy because I like the packaging of Mina as a standard basic packaging, but now we also get a mirror, so that is pretty cool. You also get a little tweezer as well, which is really, really good. Actually, I did I um, tweeze my brow really well. Tweeze, I don't know what the word is right now, so I'm just gonna say tweeze, don't laugh at me, but that is the way we're gonna be using right now. And then you get two brushes. And I guess you can use the two different brushes for the two different shades. So you get a sort of gel formula and then a powder formula. So I'm gonna start by um, applying these products to my brows. And for the sake of this video, I'm also going to use the brushes that come with the set. I usually just use my own eyebrow brush, but I just wanted to see how these test out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first go over my brows with the gel, and then I will go over with the powder to sort of finish the look. I'm just going to dip the brush into the gel and just start filling in the brows. What I'm noticing is that the color is a perfect match to my brows. So that is my brow done just with the gel sort of formula. It's like a dip brow, I guess. Now I'm going to use the other brush to fill in with the powder. Now I usually don't use powder anymore, but yeah, we'll just go over it with the powder. Okay, and that's one eyebrow done, and now I'm going to do the other one. But what I can say from just applying one brow is that I love the tweezers. <laughs> um, the brushes, I really don't mind them actually. Like if you're a beginner and you don't have a brow brush, these will come in really handy and they're easy to work with. I really like the both the powder and even the other formula, the gel formula. I think that they work really, really well. They're both pigmented and they both filled in my brows perfectly. So yeah, I like that. Ooh, Kezia's happy. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing on my other eye and I will be right back. 
Okay, so like one eyebrow always comes better than the other, which is so annoying, but that always happens to me, so I'm not surprised. So basically, I really like this brow kit. I forgot to say that the eyebrow kit I have mine in is in shade 403. I will list down the prices on the video, so just so you know, because I don't have them in my on my hand right now, right at this minute. But I think that this brow kit actually worked out great, and it filled in my eyebrows really well, and I'm so happy with it. So that is a definite thumbs up for me. Okay, so the next few products, I'm going to try and like mishmash them. <laughs> so I show you like how all of them work. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but we have three different eye products and I'm just going to mention them really, really quickly. So we have this one, which is I'm, which I'm so excited to try out. It's the eyeshadow palette from Mina and it basically comes like this with these six shades and they're all shimmery shades. They're like really nice perfect shimmery shades and I think the colors all go well together and um, and these are nice um, these are lovely shades for the autumn I think that they are just gorgeous I can swatch some for you so you can see so those are the shades and so they're very very pigmented as you can see they're very powdery as well I'm noticing um, but yeah, we'll see how they blend out onto my eyes. And I'm going to try and create a look with them. So that is the palette. And um, we also have the Duo Eyeshadow from Mina. And mine is in the shade, I will tell you very soon. 607, yeah. In the shade 607. And there's these gorgeous Duo Eyeshadows. So it's basically a light and dark green shade. And if you just see... Swatch them together. Okay, it's mostly green, light green, but I'm going to try and incorporate this um, duo shadow thing with the palette as well. So that is it. I think this is such a gorgeous idea. And if you're like really in a hurry and you want to create a simple eyeshadow look, you can just use these two colors and I think you'll be good to go. And then the next thing, which I have never tried anything like, is in shade 503, and this is the eye gloss. Now, when I saw this, I was a bit, what is this? But basically, it's a gloss that you can all you can apply just on its own, or else you can layer it on top of eyeshadow. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and layer it on top of the eyeshadow. Now, I don't know how this is going to work because I've never ever tried this out, but hopefully it will be fine. You just twist the cap like this and then the product comes out from the sponge. So yeah, we're going to see how these test out and we're going to do a makeup look. So I'm going to try and do... A makeup look on the go so we'll see how these test out so basically I have not tried these products out so these are all new to me so you have to remember that so I'm just going to get a blending brush and I'm gonna start by applying the light green shade which is this one right here okay so you're going to and I'm going to, ooh, you have to like tap it so you remove the excess because it is very, very powdery. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this on my... Now, since it's a shimmer shade, I'm usually a bit hesitant with applying shimmer shadows in my crease. But with this one, I'm not finding it too much of a problem, even though it is a shimmer shade. Because I'm finding it that it's quite easy to blend out. Just make sure that you tap off the excess because they are a little bit powdery. And now we can move on to something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a darker green and I'm going to layer it on top of it. So to build up that green shade and also gently lower it down as well. So I first start in the outer corner and then I build it up to the inner part of my eye like that. So now I'm going to take this purple and I'm going to put it on my outer corner and just basically keep it there and don't move it anywhere else. So I'm just going to put it, place it there. And then with another blending brush, you're just going to blend it out. So now with a flat brush, because I always do this, <laughs> I'm going to take this yellow shade and I'm going to place it all over my lid and we're going to see how this is going to work out because I don't know how this is going to work out. So 
We're just going to see together. Okay, and then you can just go over with the colors again. So I'm just going to take that purple and just place it there. And then just blend it out gently. And then go back in with the yellow. So we just build up that yellow shade already. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this shade from the Duo palette. And I'm going to take the light green shade. And with a small brush, I'm just going to basically use it in my inner corner. Oh, this is a lovely, lovely highlight shade for your inner corner. Yeah, I like. And if you want, you can also apply this shade. I'm going to apply it on my brow bone as my highlight, just a little bit. So make sure you just apply a little bit. Okie dokie. Now. The problem is I don't know how I'm going to apply this gloss. Like I don't know if I want to apply it now. I'm going to place a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to put it at the center. Okay, so what I did was I applied the gloss and I applied it sort of on the outer parts of where I applied the yellow. So now what we're going to do is we're going to apply that yellow again on the inner parts to emphasize it again. Yeah, but I think it worked out really well and I really really like it so my thoughts on the <laughs> eyeshadow palette is besides it being a little bit hard to open but this could be because of my gruesome nails um, <laughs> I really liked the products um, I, I really like the shadows I think that they blended out really nicely even though they're all shimmer shades just make sure that you tap off the axis because they are a little bit powdery and I think that the palette comes in these six different shades which are easy to create various makeup looks with you can focus on the purples or the greens or you can even mix the purple a little bit as well so the gloss I'm like it's nice it creates sort of a glossy look to your eye which you don't see that often um, but it is a bit sticky so like even when I'm applying it I'm feeling like my lids are a little bit sticky so I'm not 100% sure about this product this I really like especially the lighter shade I really liked um, highlighting my inner corners with this and I think that it's a really cool product and like I said if you're looking for a quick makeup look then if you buy one of these I'm sure that you can create a quick look so the final product that I'm going to be testing out, I know already, um, is this one right here. It's in shade 801 and it is the gel eyeliner. So it comes like this and it's like a brown shade. So I know I don't usually actually use brown eyeliner. So this is going to be a first for me. I'm going to try and create a very, very thin line liner look and I'm going to see also how the product works. So basically I just created a very close um, liner basically to my yeah waterline, not my waterline, sorry my upper lash line because I wanted it as close as possible. So now I'm going to do it on my other I got the eyeliner and I really like how it actually worked out. I'm going to do something I don't really do normally is I'm going to try and do it on my waterline as well. Okie dokie, that is the look done. So what do I think of the eyeliner? I think it's really pigmented. It was easy to work with. And um, if I have to choose what my favorite product was, it definitely has to be the eyeshadow palette. I think it just comes with a nice range of colors. And I don't actually have such colors in just one palette like this. I think it's just so cute, especially for these autumn months. Again, you can create such gorgeous, gorgeous looks. Um, but I really like all the products. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish my makeup look and I will come and say bye. Bye. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I came back and I applied some mascara and some um, lipstick. And obviously this 
eyeshadow look you can apply a nude lipstick a light pink lipstick but I opted for a darker lip just to go out go with the autumn no, you know, makeup. So that is the finished look and that is the eyes collection from Mina. Remember that all products are paraben free and cruelty free and if you live in Malta there are various stores that you can visit Mina at. There's in Ormi, in um, Palma Shopping Village, in Slema, in uh, Atenevio of course and there's also one in Valletta as well which is pretty cool. It's the one that has recently opened. So yeah, so those were the products. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then press subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much, Mina Malta and Hudson Group again for all these products. It was so cute and I just, I love this palette. It's very, very cute. And I hope that Mina releases more palettes with this same formula because I think that they just blend out ever so nicely. Okay, I'm going to end the video now because I'm going to just keep on rambling. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!